Hi everyone! Happy 4th of July. I attempted some cute 4th of July, um, I don't e I wouldn't even call that nail art, but <laughs> festive uh, polish, I guess you can say. Uh, for this video, I am filming this on 4th of July, so happy 4th of July! Have safe have a safe time with uh, your family and fireworks and all that good stuff tonight. Um, I wanted to welcome you. I am excited for this video because I have this um, special collector's box of Alice in Wonderland here. And it's from this brand right here called Moon Cat, which used to be Live Love Polish. Um, and then they rebranded to this Moon Cat. I forgot now how, how far back that was. I mean, not too long. I was going to look it up to be sure, but maybe, what, like a year and a half, two years ago? I can't really remember right off the top of my head. But anyways, um, I wanted to try their this brand again because right when after they transitioned to Moon Cat, I tried them a little bit and I wasn't sure how I felt. So um, this is my first purchase since the rebrand. Um, and I had to get it because it's Alice in Wonderland and the special collector's box. And I was so excited. So welcome if you're new. Um, my name is Crystal and I my, my hobby is collecting indie nail polish. And I just love sharing the fun with everyone. So please like and subscribe. And my videos are not PR, which means I just prefer a raw, unfiltered, uncut, unscripted type of video. And sometimes they can get a little bit longer, but it's okay. You can just fast forward to whatever you want to see if you don't have time, you know, for the whole thing. But but I do show everything because you know what? I want you to get the full raw experience. And I speak my mind. I'm not getting paid to say anything. So I'm going to speak my mind about this. But I am really excited because like I said, this is a very cute um, collector's box of Alice in Wonderland, which I love. And you can see right here, um, they licensed it from Disney. So let's get started. I wanted to show you this because this box itself, I just thought was so cute. Like, see, it's actually really nice, um, like nice material. It's like solid. It's not like flimsy, you know, it's solid. And, and it's got these cute designs on it saying that way, go back, wrong way. Um, you know, here we'll get into it, but this is lift me, pull me. This is, this is really cute right here. Travel down the rabbit hole, which by the way is how i feel with when i first got into the indie nail polish scene i was like oh my gosh wow i didn't know this whole world and community existed right but yeah this saying travel down the rabbit hole take one try one paint one revel in your inner silly nonsense with the help of six curious new lacquers a shape shifter plus even curiouser nail art stickers conjured in collaboration with Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Okay, and then on the back, there's nothing. On the bottom, ooh, that's cute. It says, if I had a world of my own everything, okay, let me rephrase. If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. That's kind of cute. I like how they're kind of putting like these um, phrases on here from the movie and everything. And then on the top, you know, it says, uh, we're all mad here. And it's got all the cute um, Alice in Wonderland characters on there. So that's super cute. Oh, and also, by the way, um, this is a complete uh real reaction unboxing i have not even opened this yet i literally just took this out of the shipping box so um and i i know there's supposed to be a magnet in here but just in case um i brought my own little cat eye magnet out 
and I brought this own, my own little like little fun magnet just to check it out and then so I'm gonna do the unboxing and just reveal first and then um, like my other videos go uh, I do two layers two coats each of each polish on a swatch ring like this to see the brush to see the formula how it applies and then obviously what it looks like here and on the magnetized polishes, I usually do one, um, one swatch with the magnet and then one swatch without because sometimes I don't feel like doing the magnet. Um, and then again, you know, my video is a little bit longer, but if you wanna watch the whole thing, you can, or if you wanna just see what's in the box, let's get to it. All right, here we go, you guys. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so there's two little pulley things. This one says pull me. This one says lift me with the little tab. So I'm assuming I just follow those directions. <laughs> okay. So there is a good, um, there's like a magnetic pull, like an, a magnetic closure that I can feel kind of pulling it instead of like a snap or something or just nothing. There's a little magnetic, um, cl uh, closure that I can feel. Okay. Now I did kind of just you know, I pulled it out of the shipping box, so it's a little bit shifted around, but oh, this is so cute, you guys. Let me push it back a little bit, okay. Okay, I gotta pick up my camera for this one. All right, sorry, I'm taking you with me. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. This is so cute. Regardless, see, that's why I got this one, because I thought, you know what, I'm not sure about you know, Moon Cat, I'm trying it again. Um, the meaning the polishes, but regardless of the polishes, I thought, you know what, this looks so cute. I'm gonna love it anyway. And I am so right. So this says take one up in here. So I'm gonna go check that out. And then here's some polishes here. And here's uh, the nail file here. And I'm gonna get more into it, but let me see. So this one said pull me, so I'm gonna pull now hold on, let me put you back down. Oh. <laughs> hey, the, also the funny thing on my videos is anything can happen, okay? It's like you're sitting right here with me and we're BFFs and we're just playing around with this thing, okay? So anything could happen. This thing could go flying for all I know. <laughs> but okay, I am attempting to pull this out. It's a little bit tight if you can hear that like squeaking and that that might be because something may have shifted oh no okay so this is what happens when i do the raw uncut unscripted videos and you know what i want to show this stuff i want to show this stuff because this is real life and this is what happens so i know that things happen in shipping, right? And I know things can shift around, like this was a little bit out of its place and whatnot, but that's one thing, right? But then look what happened right now. I'm a little bit like truly disappointed right now because, okay, I opened this and you saw how it was, it was kind of difficult to open and stuck, right? And you can see these two polishes are good, but then if you look at this polish right here, okay, the shadows kind of get in the way, but look what happened to this polish right here on the end, Mad Hatter. Oh man, that was one of the ones I was looking forward to. Ah, uh, okay, so this polish right here, Mad Hatter, um, broke, or maybe the, the bottle was defect. I'm gonna call it as bottle was defective and possibly broke before or during transit um, because when I received the, the shipping package, the shipping package was intact. Um, it had the bubble wrap all the way around it secured. Um, and you know, the, the box was not tampered with, the shipping box was not tampered with, the, the bubble wrap was secured. So this was not something that the UPS driver did, okay? Because uh, this was, you know, 
in this box, in this box, inside a huge bubble wrap, inside the shipping package, still pristine shipping package. The UPS driver did not like kick the box or something like that. Th that this came like this. So that's unfortunate. Um, I am obviously gonna have to contact um, Mooncat customer service and let them know and um, request them to send me a new bot bottle of this. But, you know, hopefully, I mean, it didn't spill in this collector's box part, so that's good. It didn't ruin like the whole box, but it might have stuck a little bit on the top here inside, and that might have been why I was having trouble pulling this out. Like this part probably got stuck on the top, but, um, Okay, so, but, I, you know, I'll try to go with it. I'll try to, and this is exactly why I do, I like doing this kind of video. Because it's real. This really happens. And, you know, it can happen with any brand. Um, you know, again, though, it's kind of unfortunate it happened this time. Because, like I said, this is the first time I've ordered from Mooncat since they rebranded to Mooncat, which has been you know, one to two years from, you know, back from now. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but, you know, I'm going to just assume they're going to make this right and ship me a new bottle of that. Um, but anyways, okay, let's keep going. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I'm assuming this might be the stickers, like nail art stickers. So this says take one. Okay, oh, this is cute. Look, there's little sayings. I don't know if you can see it. It says, one side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow shorter. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, this says take one. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so let me just pull it out here. And I hope that it's focusing okay. I'm just kind of bringing you with me everywhere. Oh, this is cute. See, now this is really cute. Like the ideas and and concepts are really cute. That's that is something I like about Mooncat is the ideas and concepts are really cute. And um, is that okay? So that's all that's in there in the little pouch. Let's take a look at this real quick. Set you back down. Okay, sorry. So let's take a quick look at this before we set it aside. You know, I don't do these stickers that much, but this looks like, you know, simple enough and the designs are cute enough that I could potentially try this, to be honest with you. So this says two times nail art sticker sheets. So two sheets of this. And it says up here, it says, stay curious. And if you see, there's, this is really cute though. It's got mushrooms, like the Mad Hatter's hat, a little tea cup, a little stopwatch, um, some of the card symbols like a spade and heart and diamond and little like bread butterfly and stars and bubbles. That's cute. Create your own, create a world of your own. Okay, directions. Insert, ensure nails are completely dry. Carefully peel a sticker from the sheet with tweezers. Place it into your nail. Gently press it down with your finger to smooth and secure it. Okay, secure it with your, with your top coat. So yeah, so that's perfect. That's cute. That's cute and easy, right? I'm not even feeling intimidated by that. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put that back up here into the little pouch. All right. That is cute though. Okay. So let's go ahead and take these things out of the box. I apologize for the weird sounds and adjusting I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's see what we got. Besides the sticker sheet, we have um, like a regular cat eye magnet, 
Okay, that's like the one that I pulled down myself that I already had. <laughs> so that's the other thing. It's like I already had some of this stuff. I apologize for that noise. It, these are the magnets like kind of trying to get each other. Okay. And then here's a, um, this is Alice in Wonderland, Moon Cat. Looks like a glass vial. Okay. Nice texture. Okay, it has this little plastic um, sheath. Okay, it's really nice. All right. And then besides that, I think it's just the polishes. So now I'm gonna take all the polishes out and then we're gonna look at the polishes and then do um, the little nail swatches, okay? So let me take this out and put the box away so it doesn't get damaged. This kind of collector box um, is, I like to keep it, you know? I, I don't get that many collector's boxes. Like some people get a ton of collector's boxes, um, but I don't get that many. I only get it like if it's, um, you know, a character or a, um, something that I like. concept that I like or you know I like Alice in Wonderland so I thought that was good for me to get um, so let's see here oh. okay so here are the polishes so we got one two three four five six different polishes and I've seen some of them like on um, Facebook and Instagram I've seen some of pe some people swatch what they've got and everything and so let's just take them out of the box and start looking. So for me, okay, let's look at the box real quick. Uh, so it's a special, oh, sorry for the, <laughs> that's a really loud helicopter. It's gonna go right over my house. Um, I live on a hill in Los Angeles and there's a lot of helicopters that go over. Um, so it's a special little nail polish box, which I appreciate. So it says Alice in Wonderland. It's got a little peekaboo there. It's got Moon Cat down there. It's 12 milligrams. Okay, 12 milligrams of polish. I'm sorry, milligrams, milliliters. Duh. Um, oh, I like that. It's saying, it has more sayings on the sides. So it's customized. It says abandon the ordinary. Moon Cat symbol it says we're all mad here on this side. Okay, on the bottom, nothing really important. On the back, it has the name of the polish and the, you know, other info on it. Okay, that's cute. So let me go ahead and take, take these out now. Oh, this is cute too. On the inside, when you open it, it has, like this one has um, the white rabbit, which is cute, right? Because look, look, it's like, Oh, and this says try me right here. That's cute. But yeah, it's like, it's almost like down. See this, see their ideas are cute. See, look at this. The white rabbit, right? And it looks like he's falling. It's like, oh, falling down the rabbit hole into this box, right? And then it's the polish. See, that's so cute. And that's a cute idea to me. And then inside the box, you probably can't see, but it's just a bunch of drawings, like bubbles and whatnot. Okay, and I'm just gonna open them all now and put them as put the boxes aside. And it looks like all the boxes are the same except for the name sticker. Yeah, I'm gonna just take these all out and then we'll look at the polishes first quickly before we do the swatch. Okay. And I love purple. My favorite color is purple, so I was I knew I was gonna be biased on this one right there. Already knew that. <laughs> but no, I, I, I love other colors too. I love all the colors of the rainbow. And even those not on the rainbow, I love them. Okay. 
I did hear someone say online though here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I hope I can get it out of here and still use it. I did hear someone say online though that all, all of these polishes um, have flakies in them and, and some people were saying that, you know, why did Mooncat, oh shoot, it's getting polish on me, look. Um, they were saying like, why did Mooncat make all of the polishes have flakies? Like, can you make some that don't, you know? <laughs> in the same collection, I mean. Yeah, I prefer diff, same here. Like I know some, you know, like one's magnetic and the other's not. And, but I know what that person was saying. Like I kind of like in a, I prefer, oh no, you guys. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh no. I can't even use this, you guys. It's completely broke on the inside. <gasps> Oh, that's bad. That's like the worst I've ever seen. <gasps> oh God, it's just like pure liquid in there. I'm still gonna try to swatch this thing for the video, but wow, I've never seen one broken that bad before. That's, I don't know how it could, that has to be either a defective bottle or that had to have been broken before it was put in there or cracked. I, I think that was probably cracked before it was even put into the shipping box and then just natural part of being shipped probably just took the okay that literally just put <laughs> put polish all over my fingers all right well that's what we're working with today so anyways okay let's get to it so here's the moon cat bottle if you haven't seen it before um again their moon cats designs and concepts i think are cute and creative so you know i've never seen you know i've seen a bottle kind of shaped like this before but this is kind of a unique cap right and um you know their design moon cat and it's like a cat eye right there i think that's cute so it is 12 milliliters of polish. Um, the cap feeling, it doesn't feel weird to me because the shape of it, like I can put my thumb on this flat side and I can put my pointer finger on this flat side and I can rest my middle finger on that flat side. So in that sense, it's not uncomfortable right because my fingers can all go on like a flat side of this weird shape so I can just hold it in that way um okay so this this shade name is called uh it's kind of small font print but the shade name is called do you play croquet and this is a really pretty, like, um, like a pink, like a, like a lavendery pink, like a light pink, a lavendery light baby pink, I guess you can say, or it's probably got like a lavender. So it's like a baby pink with a lavender flash. And then it looks like it has some scattered hollow and it has some different color iridescent flakies. That's pretty. Actually, this one, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. This one, I don't know. It might have a little bit of reflective glitter in there. I'm not sure. I don't have the official descriptions in front of me. I usually never do. I just go by off of what I see with my own eye because that's what I'm gonna be looking at. Um, you know, if you want to look online, they have all of the official descriptions. So the, again, this polish is, do you want to play croquet? This one is a very beautiful blue. This is a very beautiful color of blue. Like, what color is this? Um, a light aqua, a light aqua. So you know if it's if you think of aqua like it's not pastel-y though it's more of a 
Um, my brain's not thinking right now. <laughs> like, you know, like when you see, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just had a brain fart, you guys. I can't tell. But anyways, it, it's more of a, um, like a crystal blue. I don't, I don't know how to really call this, to be honest with you. But anyways uh yeah like a sky blue like a light sky blue maybe that kind of the same formula looking as this one okay so if you know if this was a light pink this is a light blue right i mean it's i'm not i guess i shouldn't try to be so technical about it okay so this one's called um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's called Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. Oh, so I guess this is supposed to be like her Alice's Tears. Okay, this one I knew, already knew I was going to be biased about because this is like the purple of the collection, right? So this one's called A Very Merry Unbirthday. Okay, and it's it's basically it looks like it might be the same formula but it's um it's more of a grape purple base with a strong blue shift and i think i can see iridescent flakies in there they look smaller though than like what's in this one for example yeah, I'm not seeing the flaky stand out that much, but you know what? Look at how much stronger the ship the shifting shimmer is on this very merry unbirthday. The shimmer is very strong on this one, which I love, but it's just kind of overpowering the other elements. So it's a little bit harder to see. Okay, this one is actually really, really pretty. I might, this might be a surpri surprise favorite. Um, again, looking like the same formula. This is called Bread and Butterflies. I'm sorry if my camera is not focusing on these labels too well. It's, this font is probably like negative one <laughs> or something. <laughs> I'm being, you know sarcastic but it's super super small font um this is such a beautiful color this one this one's sparkling a lot more in the sense that it almost looks like a gold micro glitter or something do you see that right there that's kind of showing up on camera right now what i'm seeing like see that that one's sparkling like gold you know and if you know me, you know my channel, you know I love bling. So, so far, this one is standing out to me as a surprise favorite because it has so much, it's got like a very intense gold uh, shimmer. It's got iridescent flakies and it's got a very blingy gold sparkling hollow glitter. This one's pretty too. I have oh, this is the okay. This is uh the Cheshire Cat one. It's called Cheshire Cat. Um, I think this is a magnetic. Okay, so maybe it's on the box, but as you just saw, I already put the box away. So <laughs> I prefer when the labels, when the indie brand polishes have when they specify so if this is a magnetic i would prefer if it have a little m or have a little magnet picture um because i don't keep the boxes usually or i at least don't keep them on the polish so like we're literally just gonna have to use the magnet to test on these and this one actually i'm liking this one though this one kind of looks like the formula of the gold one only in purple color so this one is really looking pretty really good because i'm <laughs> i'm mesmerized by all that bling right Ooh. 
Okay, and then unfortunately this last one, oh my God, now it's just spilling out. Shoot. Dang it. Oh my God, it's a huge mess. Okay, well you can see the color <laughs> spilling out on the box. Um, it's like a green. All right, that's about all I can see. I guess I need to have it. Oh gosh, it's all, I should have kept it upright or something because look, it's all spilled out in there now. Shoot. This is, after this, it's gonna have to go right in the trash. It's too messy. It's too, oh my God, okay. Um, <laughs> let's look at it like this. Yeah, so it's a green. And I know this is one of the magnetics, so. Uh, um, I think it's like a black base with the green and the magnetic green line and then the other elements. So yeah, we're gonna try that when it gets to it. Let me get my other napkin because that's hugely, hugely messy. Okay. Now I'm going to do some swatching. Um, oh, that one's called Mad Hatter, by the way. The green one. Oh, you know what? I really like green, too. So I'm, I'm extra disappointed because I do love green polish. Okay. Um, let's start with the pink one. Let's start doing our swatches. Now, I want to see about... Um, their formula and everything, okay? And their brush and everything now, right? Because remember, it's been like a year or two since I've tried them, tried Mooncat. So let's, I wanna see, I wanna experience it as like the first time. Because, you know, a lot of brands, you know, they make adjustments and improvements over the years, um, you know, with their formulas, with their ingredients, supplies, and whatnot, so. With this one, it's Do You Play Croquet? So now I'm opening the bottle. Okay, so I'm just screwing the lid off. And again, I it, the lid feels comfortable to my touch, right? Because I can put, put my fingers on the flat side. And uh, let me just get some off. So here's what the brush looks like. I don't remember the brush looking like that in the beginning. So it's possible that they upgraded their brush. Like this looks more of a paddle brush now. I thought I remembered before. I mean, I could have been wrong, but I thought it was more of a skinny brush back in the day. But let's go ahead and try this formula, okay? Here we go. Okay. All right. That's, you know, painting on pretty smoothly. Actually, that one, first coat application, first impression was good. Was good. Better than I remember it, to be honest with you. And yeah, I, I actually am liking this one. I really like this one. I wasn't sure, I was a little bit, <laughs> you know, not sure how I was gonna like it, but I am liking this one, cute. And you know, yeah, it's got the, it's got the light pink base with a subtle lavender um, shimmer shift. It's got the um, scattered hollow and it's got um, iridescent flakies. Yeah, I actually really like that one. That's cute. This one's cute, you guys. I really do like this one. Opaque in two coats. I really like this one, it's cute. Yeah, yep, not bad. This one is a yes. I'm happy about that one. Okay, cool. 
That's, do you play croquet? So see, okay, see I have polish all over me now. It's getting on here. <laughs> I hope it's easy to clean. Um, okay, so look, that's that. Okay, can you see it all right? All right. That one's really pretty. That That's a really pretty, like, you know, even if you don't like pink, if you like purple, it's more on a purple leaning side of pink. Okay, this one's really pretty too. It's, I wish I hadn't cried so much. It's a really pretty blue, um, like a light sky blue. A lot of iridescent flakies in there. I don't think, these two I don't think are magnet magnetized. And again, I don't have any clue. It's not on the bottle. So maybe that's something they can think about. And they could have, I don't know if they put it on the, because I'm looking at Mad Hatter's label over here and I don't see it saying magnetized when I know that one for sure is magnetized. So I don't know how you're supposed to know. Maybe I'm missing it, but um, some indie brands, you know, they'll, they'll make it obvious <laughs> so you don't miss it. Okay, so this this polish right here, this blue light blue one, performed exactly the same as the first one, the light pink. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It it looks like a princess type of polish. Um, it has a lot of like iridescent qualities to it. This one has a lot of smaller iridescent flakies. If you can see that, and scattered hollow. So it's blinging, even though it's, it's very sheer, it still has adequate amount of bling. And that's only one coat, but let's do another coat right now. So far, these first two are very good. Okay, going on smoothly. Brush is good, um, formula seems good. Flaky balm, iridescent flaky balm. So make sure you go light on the coats, like just kind of float it when you're, when you're painting, just kind of float it over, like don't press down because with a flaky balm, you know, you're, you don't want it to be clumpy. You don't want, cause the flakes will bunch up, okay. So you want to really just um, kind of float those flakies over, creating a, a leveled layer. That's really pretty. It's very, you know, princessy, very Disney, very innocent, you know, very nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah, very pretty. Got some hollow bling in there. Yeah, these two are an A. I would give these two an A. No complaints, right amount of bling, right amount of, you know, it's, I get what they're going for, the Disney and whatever, um, very sweet innocent but playful and cute and pretty yeah very nice okay a very merry and birthday is this one magnetized i have no idea let me see no it is not okay so a very merry and birthday um i've seen a lot of people doing you know posting their swatch pictures of this one online and of course you know i appreciate all of those because this color is amazing and it just looks awesome okay let's check this one out this is the one it has like a great base with um an intense blue shimmer you can see that blue shimmer right here on the brush so let's go ahead oh yeah oh this is nice oh this one's really nice this one's really nice these might be, I'm not sure. These might, actually, these look like multi-chrome flakies. These look like micro multi-chrome multi -chrome flakies, which is beautiful. 
Oh, I love this one, you guys. Because look at the base. Remember how I said it's like a grape base? But that part is very sheer. If you could see it on my finger, right? You can see my finger through, right? So the base is actually quite sheer. And then it's these multi-chrome flakies that I can see when I, when I shift it down like this or shift it around. You can see like in, looking directly on the multi-chrome flakies, it's intense blue. And then it goes to the great purple on the sides great purple and then to like a red yeah blue purple red flakes that is stunning with a blue shimmer that is stunning okay oh wow yes oh this one is going on so smoothly even more smoothly than the last one Oh yeah, that is stunning, stunning. This one, I have to say I'm giving it A plus. I know I'm biased, I like blue, I like purple, I like that infamous word blurple, but you know what? It's an A plus, what can I say? <laughs> if it wasn't, it wouldn't be, but it is, so. I like it. I'm going to do one more coat because it has that sheer base. And what that means is I want to build up the, I want to build up three thin, thin floating layers of the flakies because it's not the base that we're seeing the color from. It's the flakies. So for a formula like that, like I said, you want to do two to three very thin floating coats of the flakies because you're going to build it up and you want to do the float so that it's an even smooth layer of the flakies and then when you have like you know i have three here so it, at three, it'll color the flakies will cover the the sheer base. You won't need any kind of blurring base coat or anything. See that? That is stunning. A plus. A plus on this one, and it was very smooth. I don't see the only thing that would have made it like a plus plus is having more of the I don't really see the the scattered hollow in this and maybe that's just because the flakies are so they're already multi-chrome multi-chrome flakies so it's already very like um intense but I really didn't see any like I would prefer like <laughs> if it had hollow glitters in there or something I mean but that's just me I like bling and that's a very merry end birthday Ooh, this one is really pretty though for a for a surprise favorite. This is the one with that formula. Okay, let me check if it's magnet. Oh, it is. Okay, so the reason why I thought maybe this one would be magnetized is because I know this one is the Cheshire Cat. And remember how I said when I was looking at these two earlier, they looked like the same formula? So, and then, you know, by reason of deduction or whatever you call it, um, if they're the same formula and this one's magnetized, then this one would be magnetized. And it is, but I really liked it, how it looked unmagnetized. So I'm going to do two, two swatches of this, but we'll be quick. Um, I'm going to do one magnetized and one unmagnetized because a magnetizing takes extra time and effort and maybe you don't have that sometimes to spend b um it creates a different look and maybe you don't want that look sometimes so you can have two looks with this kind of polish 
if it, if a certain polish is a magnetic polish, it doesn't mean that you have to magnetize it. No, you don't. And a lot of times they're beautiful just the way they are. So I'm gonna magnetize that one with the cat eye. Just put a layer of the polish and then just hover the magnet over for a few seconds. The longer you do it, the more, you know, the stronger that the line will be and the better it will stay. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to take forever. And plus, this is what I would call a subtle magne uh, magnetic line because it's kind of almost like the same color as the polish. And I don't really prefer that, to be honest with you. That's why I'll probably wear this one unmagnetized. I prefer, like for magnets, if I'm going to go through all that work and, and extra time, I'm going to want a line, a, cro a contrasting color line, right? Which means, for me, um, it's very obvious. Like if it, was, if it was a yellow polish, it would be like a blue line right but look at how pretty this is unmagnetized i like this one i like this one and without magnetizing it you're getting that gold shimmer flash you see that that is so pretty when you magnetize it pulls that gold magnetic shimmer to wherever you put the line and also um, a tip, I usually go heavier on the coats because um, the magnet will pull, you know, a percentage of the polish into that magnetic, magnetic line, leaving the rest of the nail where the polish is um, as more sheer. So I do... I do more coats and I do thicker coats because I want to see it creates a different background kind of like it'll it'll create a background that you didn't see before but you want to still be able to see it so that's why you want to go a little bit thicker so yeah this is a very very subtle magnetic like in my opinion not even worth it um, but it is also pretty. It's got, you know, it's got a gold line going. And you see it in the middle there? Just kind of shifting around. And then you see what happens is that gold magnetic shimmer, it pulled to the middle. And then you see more of the colors, the different colors of the iridescent flakies on the other part of the polish. That is really pretty, actually. That is really pretty. So yeah, so here's the two different versions. Now again, um, so this one on the right is the magnetized. So again, I mean, it's up to you, but in my opinion, this subtle of a magnetic line is not worth it to me. And also I like the gold shimmer, how it looks like unmagnetized. Okay, but this is a surprise polish. This one, I would also give this one an A. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I give it an A. So far, very happy with this purchase. Okay, next is the Cheshire Cat. So this one will be the same formula as the last one, as the gold one. So we'll do the two different swatches we'll do the magnetized and then no sorry the unmagnetized and then the magnetized okay okay and this one's called cheshire cat which is you know one of the most famous scenes of the movie okay and i love my me some purple so here we go I wish it didn't look like so similar to the same purple as the other purple we have here. 
um, meaning like the same kind of grapey purple. Like there's so many different beautiful shades of purple. Um, if they were, I mean, hey, am I complaining about two purple polishes in this collection? No, but what I'm just saying is there's so many different beautiful um, shades of purple. Also, Cheshire Cat, I think of more as like a magenta. I just feel like it could have been a little bit more uh, of a variation in color for Cheshire Cat, but hey, that's just me. So um, I'm not spending too much time on the first layer of magnetizing it. And I see what they're going here for with this, like what they're doing here is when you magnetize it, you know, you get the more um, dark grapey base, purple base, and then the magnetized line is more of a magenta. So you get that kind of stripey look, which, you know what, again, I do think Mooncat is creative and, and clever. So that is just one example of that. Um, and I do like it, you know, I, I do like it. Um, it could have been a little bit different, but I'm still really liking it. So here's the two layers, definitely only need two layers on this one. Here are two layers of Cheshire Cat Unmagnetized. It is pretty. There, I see some blue flakies that are sticking out in this one that's really pretty. And then unmagnetized, you can see that kind of like, it's a subtle, it's subtle though, like a subtle magnet, uh, magenta flash there or pink or whatever it is. And then for the second coat of the magnetized swatch of Cheshire Cat, again, I did a little bit thicker on the magnetized swatch. This is cute. Meaning like, I can see what they did there with the with the stripes, you know, for the Cheshire Cat. That is cute. Okay. So again, the longer you stay with the magnet, the more, the better, basically. Um, I'm not going to for the purpose of this video. But um, also there's different shapes and different types of magnets. So you can play around with that, whatever you prefer. So that is really cute. Um, I get the concept, the magnetic, I, they didn't put enough shimmer in my, they didn't put enough magnetic shimmer in my opinion. Like you can see, even though I didn't pull the, the put the magnet for that long, you can see that it already pulled all the magnetic shimmer that it's going to and the the line is not super prominent it's still very very subtle so let's look at the difference now on the two swatches and you can see that the base on the magnetized version on the right did turn darker and then you can see that subtle subtle like pinky mag uh, magenta line, magnetic line pull in, very subtle. You can see it as I shift it up and down. And then you can see without magnetized, it's just shimmers, just a flash. See that? So I'm gonna just give this one an A only. I think it would have been an A plus if they used more shimmer on this. It's just too subtle for my liking. Again, I everyone's different and I prefer like things to be, you know, stand out more boldly. But that's, you know, that's just my opinion. Okay, lastly, we're going to get into this big mess over here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, 
So this is Mag Mad Hatter, and I know for a fact that it is a magnetic. So, all right, let's do this. Um, I'm just going to attempt to, I don't even know. This is what happens, raw and uncut, right? Oh no, okay. <laughs> I can see the polish in there is what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to get enough for this video swatch because I do want to see what it looks like, right? Because if I don't like it, I'll just be like, oh, just refund me for that. But I think I'm going to like it. Okay. I love green polish. This is beautiful. This is stunning, okay? This is stunning. It's gr it, the magnetic shimmer is green. I don't know if I can risk doing, if I can risk getting a second, uh, get a second swatch to do magnetized versus unmagnetized, but I'm going to try you guys. This is dedication, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll just use this like, oh no, that's chunky. Ay, 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 that didn't work. That didn't work, you guys. No, that one didn't work. Okay, so one second, one second. Give me a second. One second. One second. All right. I'm going to try that again. And you don't have to stay for all of this if you don't want to. If you have, I appreciate it. Um, again, I mean, this is the real experience of a brand. I'm just a normal person. I'm not a PR person where it's packed extra special. I'm a normal person. Just purchasing this thing right I do it all my videos the same so I'm not giving any brand special treatment how it shows is how it shows I mean it, I don't know how else I can say it this is stunning though Oh my god, look at my finger. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. But you see how this line is standing out more prominently than the other two? You can see it a lot more obviously, right? The green magnetic line shifting up and down. That's what I prefer. And you can see the background on this one when I magnetize it, it turns a darker, like a darker forest green. And then you have a, the more bright green magnetic line. I do like this one. This one might turn out to be A+. Plus. Let me do one more coat of the unmagnetized. This is literally going straight in the trash from here. too bad I don't like to see any fallen polishes left behind but this one was a casualty of war I guess this is this polish is stunning if you like green I would say get this one this polish is literally stunning it's beautiful it's got a beautiful um, like it's like a bright okay am i even in this frame okay it's like a bright foresty green i don't know if that's coming off on camera correctly but the shimmer flash is a bright foresty green this looks stunning even non-magnetized you can see it there and you can see like a scattered hollow sparkle i like this one 
Okay, and then one more layer of the magnetized version. And then I will give my final reviews. Okay. Whoa, a bird just flew in the tree above me. Don't poop on my head. <laughs> no. All right, well, this is just drying out now and getting chunky, so it's not really going to work properly. But you'll be able to, no, this is not going to work. All right, well, that didn't work out, you guys. Um, yeah, this is all dried up now. I could try doing it one more time. Dipping in the very last, like, bottom part. It's all, like, dried up and chunky. Sorry, I'm way off frame because I was trying to do it over the paper towel. This table's already got enough, like, polished stuff already on it. Okay, let me see if this works. Oh. I love Disney. I love... I love Alice in Wonderland um, specifically because of the wonder. I love, um, I don't know, I just love that kind of like mind-bending thinking and, um, you know, in Marvel, I like the multi, what's it called, multiverse, and, you know, I just like that kind of fantasy type thinking, you know, that nothing's impossible and I don't know it's just fun for me to think in that way okay so this is my last attempt um, I can tell that it's not working properly um, so but on that first coat that I was able to get in earlier I could see what it was supposed to be doing it was supposed to be making like a very dark foresty blackish background and then a bright um, foresty green line magnetic line with you know the iridescent flakies and the scattered hollow like a lot of them have and when it worked properly um, it was stunning um, so I would give this one an A plus I would give this color, is what I'm trying to say, Mad Hatter an A+, plus if you like green. Um, okay, that's as much as I can get for you right now. Um, there is like a, a purplish, like a reddish purple also shift on the bottom when I turn it this way. I don't know if you could see that. Like there's the main green shimmer looking straight on, and then there's like a reddish purple um shift on the off angle and you know i love that so here's unmagnetized on the left and magnetized on the right attempting to be magnetized and then you can just see it there beautiful in both both situations all right, well, let me give my final thoughts. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna put that over there. All right, um, final thoughts. I, I actually really liked this. Um, despite the obvious what happened, um, you know, I give everyone the benefit of a doubt. Um, I'm going to contact Mooncat's customer service to see how that goes uh, it's all part of the experience and you know i'm hoping that they will be courteous and make everything right in the end um but yeah besides the obvious of what happened um i really really liked this collection will i buy from mooncat again i think yes 
sparingly. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, let's say they have another collab that comes out that I'm interested in. Like for example, I saw online Mooncat was talking about, you know, asking like, oh, what, you know, what if we did another collab? Like what about, you know, Halloween is my personal favorite season of polish and overall. And so, you know, what if they're saying like, okay, well, what, what if we did like a Beetlejuice collab for Halloween or, you know, a Nightmare Before Christmas? Okay, I will for sure be 100% in, um, despite, you know, the little incident over here. And hopefully their customer service isn't rude and all that. You know, if they, if they take care of me in the end, I will be satisfied and I will purchase again sparingly. It's, it's not gone to the top of my list or anything, but sparingly I will purchase from them. But I have to say overall, you guys, I was very happy with the polishes. Um, if you saw, I gave them an A and like two of them an A plus. So, and the box and creativity an A plus. Okay, I wouldn't just give that. Um, so I basically, when I tried them, you know, a year or two ago, it was like, I didn't think I was ever gonna purchase from them again. So in that contrast, they've really um, improved a lot in my opinion. And I think they're really, like if you gave them a try before, I. I think it would be safe to say, you know, maybe give them a try again. If you see something interesting come out, um, that looks cool to you. Um, maybe give them a try again and, and see what you think now. Um, so yeah, I will, I will keep an eye out. Let's just say that I'll keep an eye out. And then like, you know, for Halloween, I'll see what they do, which is actually coming up in only a couple months. So like Halloween polishes, They'll probably sell in September, which is we're in July now. So really only like two months from now is when the Halloween polishes are going to start rolling out. So um, I will be definitely keeping an eye out. And if they do a, a collab of some kind that I'm interested in, I would probably purchase from them again. So I'm actually very pleasantly surprised about this. And I'm super happy I got this box set. I actually am really proud of this. I'm gonna put this in my nail room on display. So you know I wouldn't do that if I wasn't happy about it, okay? <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining me. Have a good 4th of July. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like Mooncat these days? Have they improved since you um, first tried them? Or, or you know, it was different back in the day when they were the old brand, but um, tell me what you guys think and, um, you know, would you encourage other people to get this or, or what's your thoughts on, on the whole moon cat situation? Um, yeah, let me know. All right. Thanks guys. Love you all. See you next video. Bye.